Good morning, this is Aunt Beth. Welcome to my lamp post. So, it's been a long and crazy couple weeks. And I have, in the midst of all the craziness, I've been thinking of you. Um, not to digress too much, but the house flooded badly. And um, I decided to force myself out of the house and take a class, an intensive class. So Monday through Friday classes. So in the midst of the classes and quizzes and exam schedules, I have a house to deal with. But I'm blessed I have a place to live. And I was thinking of you as far as when you're absolutely exhausted, how do you keep on keeping on? Because sometimes I really get tired of adulting, <laughs> you know, being the adult in the room. And I thought, if that's true of me, then that's true of you. And there is a scripture that says, encourage one another with the uh, scriptures that have encouraged you. So, if you're tired of adulting and it's, life seems really long, stay tuned. But first, I'm going to tell you a story. That's, it's an analogy, I guess, of our lives. When I was young, in elementary school, my dad was in the army and we were evacuated from Berlin when they put up the Berlin Wall because that's where we were living that's where my dad was in the army <clears throat> and so it's the middle of the night and they flew us out of there and we're connecting through Shannon uh, in Ireland on our way back to the States and I have two younger sisters I'm telling you a family story and a family joke. But it illustrates my point, I think. So, my mom grabbed the baby. My dad grabbed the, my middle sister. And I was asked to carry the diaper bag. <laughs> and in those days, they didn't have jetways. So you go down these steps and across in, in the middle of the night across the tarmac and we had to wait for a connecting flight or whatever they were doing and trying to lay out and sleep on those vinyl cushions and this was in the uh, early 60s so they had the orange and yellow vinyl curtain i don't know if you remember those or you've seen them in pictures maybe you have them in your house as a retro <laughs> But I really wanted to be carried. I didn't want to have to carry the diaper bag. I wanted to be carried. But I was the oldest, you know, so suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Here's the diaper bag, and away you go. So whenever in the future, you know, I just got frustrated with my responsibilities of being the oldest. My mom would say, and you had to carry the diaper bag. <laughs> so, but I started laughing when I was thinking about that this morning. With all the stuff that you have going on, you just really wish that somebody would carry you. You don't want to have to adult. You don't want to have to be responsible. But the word says that diligence is man's precious possession. We just got to gut it out. But I was talking to the Lord about this and he commented to me in my heart that you need to think about the end game, the finish line. When you're working in your garden, you're not thinking about what you're doing, you're thinking about the harvest and what you're going to do with all your produce and how fun it will be to give it away and all that. 
and that helps get you through the hot days when you're working in your garden and weeding. You know, sometimes, don't you wish God didn't care so much about our character? <laughs> but only you can lift the weights at the gym if you want muscles. Gotta cut it out. But if you can think of the end game, sometimes that helps. You know, Jesus had a huge task ahead of him, but it said that for the joy set before him, he ran his race. He wasn't looking at the cross. He was looking at having us home as family, paying the price so that we could come home. So, Paul says, no discipline seems a good thing, but afterwards it yields fruit. So yeah, there's some adulting, but that's the price you pay for growing up instead of being carried through life. So at the end of the day, you've got bragging rights. I have bragging rights. I got to carry the diaper bag. <laughs> you have bragging rights. So be encouraged. Look at the finish line. There's fruit in this. Okay. You can do this. I can do this. Go get a glass of water. Take a drink. Suck it up, buttercup. You know, the finish line is almost in sight. Think of the end result, not what you're cutting it out. Nobody's trying to deny that is frustrating and painful and this long, slow slog forward. And sometimes life seems really long, doesn't it? Take a break if you need it, but don't stay there, okay? At the end of the road, you will have bragging rights. So, I hope you have a fabulous day. All God's best.